Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and I'm excited to introduce our new Live HTML3 module and its A-B testing feature. So let's get started. Now I won't talk about what A-B testing is or what is it used for, because there's tons of articles, great resources out on the web that you can refer to. But what we're gonna do instead in this demo is just see how we can set up a A-B test using Live HTML and Let's get started with that. So I have a default installation of DNN9 here and I'm just gonna head over to this new page I just created called blog. And I've already added a live HTML module to this page. So let's go ahead and go to manage. Now, if you're not familiar with live HTML, live HTML is similar to core DNN HTML module where you can simply author content, uh, but it has a lot more features. For example, it allows you to embed modules and uh, it has the ability to do multilingual content. It has a content workflow. It has version management and so forth. But the focus for this demo today is A-B testing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna check here, say yes, we are gonna do A-B testing. I'll go back to my content. And what you notice here is I got two tabs here. We got the default content or also known as control and we got our test content also known as variation uh, or simply a and b so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and author some contests let's let's assume this was a blog page and i was trying to have people sign up our mailing list or something so so be sure to subscribe for our latest post tweets and news all right and there's our content. I'm gonna go ahead and center align that. And what I wanna do here is I'm gonna say subscribe now. So ultimately I want people to click on this um, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and make this a link. So I'm gonna go ahead here and this could be any link. So I'm just gonna say yourlink.com. Now what you're gonna notice here is we have a new tab here called AB testing. Simply go there and say track this link as conversion. It's really that simple. Now I've set this up. I said uh, that here's my content and here's my conversion. So if someone views this content and then clicks on this link, I need that tracked and measured. So let's go ahead and create a variation. Maybe I want to have different content, different uh, uh, different way of uh, of having them sign up. Maybe I just want a different button. Uh, maybe I want a left line, right line, different colors, whatever it might be. For the simple demo, I'm just going to copy this here, keep that same, and I'm just going to basically change uh, subscribe now to let's say get started. And I just want to see whether that simple. Uh, makes a difference and and you know while i'm here we can we can definitely go ahead and try changing the color and i say let's let's make this red maybe that makes a difference okay so i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna link this up and then i'm gonna say let's go ahead and track this link so this is the conversion for our variation and this is the conversion for our control or in other words this is our default content this is the new content we're trying i'm trying to see if the red color or the words get started have uh encourages people to click on this more than my default that's all i really got to do to set this up i'm going to go ahead and hit update and i'm done and you can see right now i'm seeing the uh default content which says subscribe now and what I'm gonna do here is copy this URL and then bring up another browser and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and what you see I'm seeing I'm seeing a alternative version which is my B content or the or the test or the variation and here I see the get started now I don't see my red and that's because I think I didn't make it red after I made it a link or so forth but there's the get started I'm going to go ahead and click here uh, as my link and obviously your link doesn't exist it actually is available for sale interestingly uh, and I'm going to click here so basically um, that's that's all you have to do to tracking now once you go back to the module let me go back really quick and if you go to manage what you're going to see is you're going to start seeing some statistical data for example it's now telling me that it's shown um, the control or the default content once it was viewed once and we actually had a click 
similarly showing that content B or the test or the variation was shown once and we had a click as well. Now based on this information it's saying that you know the test results are not significant yet and that's because we've not collected enough data. But let me go ahead and cover a couple more things. When a content, a particular version is decided and shown to a client or an user, they continue to see that for the entire session. So we're not changing content on them. So that's that's one good thing. The other thing is the views are only incremented if they actually see the content. That means if your HTML module is at the bottom of the page, the views are not gonna increment just because the page got loaded. They have to actually scroll down. And once they see the content, the view gets incremented. And then clicks are simple. If they click on it, on your conversion links, that's when it gets incremented. So what I'm going to do here is really quick pause this video or the recording and go simulate this data with some more results so we can actually come back and see uh, how the how the analysis looks like. All right. Okay, so I went ahead and updated the database directly to simulate some some data here so we can look at the results. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And what I see here is that the content A had about 345 views and 12 clicks. And then content B had about the same amount of views because they're load balance uh, and had 29 clicks. And basically we have a significant test results and it's color coded. So green means good. That means B content performed much better than A. And specifically uh, it was 140.97% better. And there's a 95% confident uh, statistical model in place saying that this is not a, a random or a coincident chance. Uh, this basically uh, validates that our variation is actually a better content to use for, for increased conversions. Now if it turned out the, our variation was bad then this would have changed to red color to make it easier and if the results are inconclusive then you see the blue color which says tested are not significant. That's it for this short video. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to open a support ticket and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you so much for watching this video.